you're now ready to work with clients and you need a process. I'd like to share with you a simple and solid process that you can use for many of your coaching sessions. By following this process, you will find that you are able to guide the client through a conversation that moves them forward towards a goal that they would like to achieve through their work with you. The coaching session starts with an important question, which sets the stage for success. And that is, what would you like to work on in today's coaching session? What is the outcome that you would like to achieve? Or what would make this the most valuable hour of your day? By asking that question, you as the coach learn what they would like to work on because it's not up to you to decide for them. They decide what they want to focus on and talk about with you. What is the challenge that they want to hopefully find a resolution to with some new ideas gained from the conversation today? After you've discovered what that outcome is, then you will engage in active inquiry. Active inquiry is where you are asking questions of the client that you don't know the answers to. Right? It's really important that you don't know the answers because you don't want to lead the client, guide the client, direct the client, manipulate the client. You want the client to discover the answers to their challenges within themselves because this is coaching, not consulting. It's coaching, not mentoring. And that's why it's a great idea to ask questions that we don't know the answers to that are open-ended and elicit the client's ideas and it helps the client to gain new perspectives on their challenges and by being solution oriented and thinking forward. Because in coaching, we don't look back, we look forward and we work on new ideas, not worn out ideas that have already been tried and failed in the past, but new ideas, new approaches, new perspectives that might be gained by asking the right question at the right moment. Open-ended questions tend to work better because they open up the conversation, get your client talking, and that's really important because you want your client talking much more than you. You should be asking great questions and listening. When you pair active inquiry with active listening, where you're fully present and totally taking in what the client is saying, something really wonderful happens. And that is that the next question usually presents itself. You shouldn't have to work too hard to determine what is the next best question to ask your client. It should present itself when you ask good questions. So think about that and exercise that in each and every coaching session. Active inquiry with active listening. And be patient for the next question to present itself. Don't interrupt your client. Be careful to be patient, be silent, and let them do the talking. So after you've engaged in active inquiry, then it's common to ask for their insights. What have they discovered through this conversation that is new to them? What realizations do they have? New insights. And after that, then they might settle on some path forward. What action will they take out of this coaching session? That's the accountability step, which is very important in coaching, right? Asking our clients to commit to an action and then holding them accountable to that action. Once you've realized what the action steps are that your client is likely to take, and then you affirm them and generally close that coaching session and plan for the next coaching session. If you follow this process, which is what is the outcome that you would like to achieve? Engage in active inquiry with active listening. Talk about insights that they've gained and next actions that it might take. You will have a solid process that you can use again and again with clients to help them to find success with you as their coach.